Welcome back to my channel, Stinks. We are doing an at-home glute workout today. Now, who says, <laughs> Jesus. Oh my ball sack. Anyway, now who says you can't grow a juicy double decker bus back there from the comfort of your own home? Haters, you're gonna be someone's issue after this workout, okay? And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you the secret on how to feel your glutes when you're working out because it's a mysterious secret and I want to put you guys on, okay? Because when I figured it out, that's when I really started to see some glutes, baby. Now listen, I, I wanna set you guys up for success when you're doing this, okay? There are things that I recommend that you start doing. Number one is eating. Make sure you get your rice and cabbage, baby. They're not lying when they're saying that you need to stuff yourself. I'm just being honest. So on that note, we are going to make our pre-workout snack. You guys already know the type of time that I'm on. Get your rice cake. Take your honey and your salt, okay? This is going to give you the nastiest, filthiest glute pump, all right? If you're going to the gym on an empty stomach, just say you don't want to fast. Just Just you're, you're literally screaming to the universe that you don't want to fast. And I don't want that for you, okay? Get your rice cake and go ahead and eat up. All right, now when it comes to supplements, right, if you are trying to build your glutes, I recommend creatine. Yes, I'm a slut, absolute whore, feral for creatine every single time. It's gonna do it for me. If you're taking a supplement that's allowing you to train harder and to tear more muscle fibers, your muscles are going to grow quicker. Muscle meaning glutes. They're not gonna look like a pancake anymore. They're gonna be thick and plunginess, okay? And I wasn't born you know, with a thick, juicy dump truck. Trust me, I'm, I'm only giving you gold right now. For our pre-workout cocktail, we are doing the mojito non-stem. Some acetylcarn, nah. You guys already know I don't know how to say this word, acetylcarn. You, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could. Yep, and uh, creatine, so. Oh, this stuff smells like fucking feet. I'm not even gonna lie. And it tastes like citric acid. But if it's gonna help me reach my goals, I'm willing to sacrifice. Ah. This shit is just so fun. And then if you guys are interested in these cups, I went ahead and already linked them in my Amazon storefront. Also, all the supplements, I do have a code if you guys are interested in getting them. It's TNA, it helps me out a lot. And I promise you that if you do use my code and like, I don't know, you tag me or something, I'm gonna fondle you through the phone. You're gonna have to go to therapy for two months. I apologize. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm leaving my house, because I did say this was an at-home workout but I don't have any fucking weights, so. <sighs> Who's ready to rock and roll? So, you know, I'm here at my apartment gym. Apparently the swimming pool's closed. I'm assuming that's a child pooped in it. Why am I? Thank you. Okay. It's embarrassing. Well, we're in here, so we're gonna start this workout and it's gonna be immaculate. The only equipment that you are going to need are some dumbbells and a bench, a couch. I don't give a f what you have, whether it's a chair, your grandma's walker, I don't care. All right, let's get straight to it. This is Eve. Hey guys. Don't say what's up. What's up? I'm gonna train Eve for her at-home glute workout, okay? And then at the end, we're gonna give you some amazing, amazing, amazing tips on how to feel that shit in your bum. In your butt butt. All right, sorry. Didn't mean to touch your thigh like that. That got a little intimate. That wasn't my intention. I was lying. That was very much my intention. So the first thing that we're gonna do, guys, is a hip thrust complex, okay? So Eve, I'm gonna have you go ahead and get the hip thrust position. Is you want your upper back on here, okay? Right where the end of your shoulder blades are or where you should be. You don't wanna come down too low and you don't wanna be up too high. Now, you're gonna place the weights right here on your hip bone. Go ahead and spread your legs out a little bit more. She's got super long spider legs. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna come all the way down and then up. And we're gonna squeeze here at those glutes. Squeeze them right here. And then she's gonna do that 10 times. Go ahead. Well, this is awkward, how do you feel? Butt hurts. <laughs> Your butt butt hurts? Don't worry, we're, we're building a double decker truck, okay? Once you finish 10 hip thrusts, you're then gonna go straight into 10 pulses. Squeeze at the top nice and slow. This isn't a race, okay guys? Remember, we're at home and so we have to find different ways to make shit more challenging. All right, and then we're gonna squeeze at the top 10 seconds, let's go. Nine, and relax, good job. Psych! <laughs> Got it! <he. laughs> Got it! <he. laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Loser! 
Get yourself up, come on. Guys, we're working out. I'm not helping her get up. We're trying to burn extra calories. Okay, so the next exercise that we are doing are sumo squats, okay? So what I want you to do is go ahead and pick up your weight, Eve. Now when she picks it up, so you're gonna slightly hinge at those hips first. We're gonna have a wider stance and turn those toes slightly out. Those look great. She's gonna come straight down as low as she can. Beautiful, beautiful, and then back up. But she's gonna stop right here. See, we're getting that full expansion of the glutes. We're building something here in the comfort of your own home. Your legs are just so cute. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you laugh, but they're like the size of my arms. <laughs> and then you're gonna superset it with 20 body weight squats. How do you feel? My legs hurt. Good, great, great, love that. Okay, so the next exercise you guys are doing at the At Home Glute Series is an, a dumbbell RDL. Mind you, Eve is like a Pilates bitch, clearly. She's learning all of this in the same moment that we're teaching it to you guys. All right, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna keep that weight scraping up and down our thigh. You don't want your lower back to take over. We're gonna push those hips back. A lot of people wanna go up and down. We don't wanna fucking do that, okay? Because that is going to put that tension on our back. So I want you to think about a standing hip thrust where you're pushing those hips back and you're pushing those hips forward. Now you don't need to go that low. A lot of people are like, let me just touch my toes. You don't need to do that. I like to go right below the knee, maybe mid shin area, and then right back up. And when you're doing it, I want you to think about using your glutes. Nice and slow on the way down. And up. Get it. Our next exercise are Bulgarian split squats, okay? So grab your bench or that walker we were talking about. If we want to target the glutes, we don't want to be super upright. The more upright we are with our movements, the more emphasis we're going to place on the quads. And we don't want to do that, okay? Because we're trying to... You know, we don't want a pancake butt, all right? We're trying to make a brioche toast. So I'm gonna have Eve bend here for, first, and when she comes down in the movement, she's gonna be thinking about going at it backwards or diagonally. Take some weight. Let's go ahead and get five. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> keep the, just keep the weight down. Beautiful, just like that. You see how we're putting that emphasis on the glutes? Now drop the weight. Drop the weight, but don't drop the foot. Sorry, I know you thought we were done, but we're not. Let's go ahead and get some body weight ones, okay? 10 per leg, let's go. There we go, as fast as you can, let's go, explode. Good, almost there. Come on, finish strong. Put a baby in it, get pregnant. Thrust those hips up, one pair. I don't know where that one came from. Proud of you. <laughs> Cabbage pitch. All right, so final exercise in our workout, okay? We are gonna do some dumbbell clamshells. So what I want you to do is grab your dumbbell, place that right on your thigh, just like that, great. And I want you to think about it, like you're kind of opening your hips up for birth, you know, or, or sexual experiences in a safe way. Wrap it up, kids. And she's gonna open her hips up. Like we're kind of doing a fire hydrant, but standing up. We should be feeling this in this area right here, and you're also gonna be feeling it on this side. And if you guys wanna up this a little bit, you wanna add some cardio, go outside, take a walk, soak up the vitamin D, okay? Any last words? Get freaky with these new butt workouts. I like it. Let's get jiggy with it. And I know the big question is, how do you feel your glutes when you're working out, okay? Because oftentimes, I know a lot of us are just doing shit and we're like, yeah, like, I don't feel this at all. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to be thinking about, okay? Because that mind-muscle connection is extremely important when it comes to working out. What I want you to do is stand up. All right, I want you to squeeze your cheeks. Now, I know it's awkward, but just do it with me, okay? Do it in the dark corner. I don't want you to have to go to therapy because of this. Now what I want you to do is I want you to sit down and squeeze your cheeks, all right? It's a bit of a different feeling, right? Like when you're standing, you have a lot more control, but when you're sitting, you don't have as much control. Now what I want you to do, I want you to go ahead and back away, and I want you to try to squeeze your cheeks. How are you feeling? Do you feel it? It's hard, right? Yes. It's weird. It's weird as when you are trying to feel exercises with your glutes, you want to feel it at the bottom of the movement, not the top. I'll give you an example. A squat, and then you're going to try to squeeze your glutes at the bottom of the movement, okay? That's what's going to allow you to feel your glutes and actually contract them. The contraction isn't up here. After this, there's no more tension on the glutes, okay? But I hope you guys get the idea. Right. So listen, people are going to want to fondle your tush after this, all right? You're welcome, all right? And also, not a weird way, unless you want to make it weird. But tell your sister I said what's up. <laughs>